So we've all been there where you meet someone new, things to be seem to be going well, you're texting, you're going back and forth, but then they start acting really distant and they pull away. And that makes you want to start chasing them. But throughout this process, you don't seem to get them, you don't seem to be getting love, and you're left confused, hurt, and wondering what the happened. Now, I used to use belief this push-pull dynamic happened because other people were trying to control me or lead me on or like push me around until I started to realize that it really was within my control that I was attracting these relationships and I was bringing them into my reality. So in this video, I'm going to show you why it shows up and what you can do to stop this from actually happening and showing up in your life. Now the push-pull is really frustrating because more than anything, what it really does is it keeps destroying your self-worth. It keeps making you doubt yourself, question yourself, question your capacity to love, and ultimately it gets you to question whether you are lovable. But there are so many different reasons that we get stuck in this pattern. And in this pattern, and what happens is your whole psychological process, your physical body and your nervous system start to really feel shut down. Let me ask you this question. When you're in a push-pull relationship and you feel the excitement of when it's going well and you feel the total shutdown of when it's going poorly, how do you feel in those moments when you're shut down? You feel closed, you feel scared, you feel anxious, maybe you even feel depressed. And so your whole emotional system starts to really drive you crazy. So I'm gonna show you what you can do really to break this cycle for good. Now, point number one, and here's the harsh truth. We actually attract these inconsistent partners, these push and pull relationships because of unresolved childhood attachments and wounds. I don't know if you've heard that before, that you may be wondering, well, yes, how does my present relationship link to my childhood wounds, but they're all in your subconscious mind. And so what I want to tell you is how these show up is when your first ideas of love, when you were young, when you're a little baby, you start absorbing things around you, your nervous system is developing, your subconscious mind is creating an idea of you. And at that point, you start to notice what the treatment and love that you're getting is. And so if you had inconsistent love from your caregivers, maybe your caregivers had their own wounds, maybe they had their own traumatic nervous systems. Sometimes maybe you had a father figure who would show up with love. Maybe he had a good day at work and whatever and he showed up with love and then on other days when he was stressed he would maybe even verbally abuse you maybe even sometimes he hit you or he'd pull away from you now this could have happened with your mother figure as well for me it happened very much like that where my mother figure was a naturally loving person but when she would be under stress because of maybe all the other siblings or anything that happened at home she would pull away from me and so this constant push and pull would get me so like fearful of whether I was gonna get this love coming to me and so I would naturally start start to dance back where when she was in a good mood I would jump in with love but when she was in a bad mood I would be afraid of how she's gonna show up maybe then at that time I tried to pull her harder leading again from these childhood wounds one big thing to notice is that we have huge wounds of abandonment huge fear of abandonment that's actually living under the surface and what it's doing for us it's making us feel like this relationship which when we're in, in feeling the highs of the love that's really beautiful coming but when the fears of abandonment come it starts to pull away and so in essence we're used to these stress chemicals that continuously flow through our body when we have this fear of abandonment because when you have a fear of abandonment you have a fear of survival in your relationships so you're automatically constantly in survival mode fearing whether this person is going to stay whether they're going to show up for you whether like maybe they're going to leave maybe they're going to like leave you alone and so we unconsciously get addicted to these stress chemicals. So here's what's so crazy. When you get addicted to these stress chemicals of survival, when you have safety in these relationships with love, you tend to push away. That's what's so crazy. It's because you're so addicted to the survival zone that when you have the safety of this love, you push away from the relationship. And then when you feel the threat of abandonment coming in the relationship, when you feel like the other person is gonna leave you when there's an argument, when there's a fight, maybe when things are going, like, you know, and they get a little silent, then you'll try and chase after them to pull closer into this relationship. And that's what creates this push and pull continuously. If you're really liking this video, I want you to click like or subscribe or maybe both and to share this video with your friend because because I'm gonna come up with a lot more. There are more points in this video about regulation, creating safety, etc., than and breaking the cycle. But more importantly, there are more videos coming up around this topic. So if you really like this and you want to get these videos delivered to you, click like and subscribe, and you're gonna love all of the content that comes in. Now, point number two, all right? If you start doing this, P 
people will start showing up differently for you and your relationships. I promise you. And what that is to start creating internal safety. Internal safety. What does internal safety mean? Internal safety means that you now, with making yourself feel more safe, more validated, providing more of your own appreciation from within, more of your recognition, more of your love from within, you start to unconsciously invalidate the need for the threat. You start to unconsciously invalidate the need for somebody else to continuously show up for you or for somebody else to now give you a feeling of, oh, I'm going to lead you. I'm going to lead you. And you're like, no, please let me run after you. Because when you start to create internal safety within yourself, you don't need to run after the other person. You don't need to run after the other person who's making you feel a sense of threat because you have the internal safety within. So you don't get drawn into it. point number three. And this is a huge, huge, huge point I want to lay across to you. If you make this change, it could really change your life. And what that changes, what that big thing to add into your life is, is nervous system regulation. So as I talked to you before, your body is unconsciously addicted to these stress chemicals that come from this push and pull, that feeling that you get when you're on your really highs and your really lows. There's no sense of consistency in between. And so if you start, remember I said you have to start creating safety for yourself. How do you do that? You start with creating nervous system regulation. Nervous system regulation is the principle of basically regulating your nervous system. Your nervous system is the messaging service between your brain and the stress chemicals that run through you. When you prioritize nervous system regulation through breath work, through meditation, through different grounding techniques, you're learning to calm your nervous system down, especially in stressful scenarios. At the start, it'll feel really uncomfortable because you're so used to just falling straight into the stressful place. But if you start to regulate it and you're like, no, I don't want to get that dose of like dopamine from this person and this external validation I'm getting instead, I'm going to breathe, I'm going to pause, I'm going to take a few seconds, I'm going to count to 10, I'm going to feel things around me, I'm going to bring myself into the present moment so my mind is not into my past, my wound. And when you start doing that, your addiction to that validation starts to go down. In the same way, think about the opposite when you're doing the pull circumstance, right? And this person is threatening to leave you. Instead of you running immediately to them, pause. Take a few breaths, come from one to 10, slowly regulate, slowly give yourself some space, some time, create some safety, soothe yourself. You can do different breathing techniques. I've got a whole bunch of meditations and videos for them. But when you create that internal safety through nervous system regulation and you say, I am safe, I am always going to choose me. I will always be here for me, grounded, I'm loved. When you do that, again, your stress levels now start to come down. So the way you respond will be very different. If that that person's threatening to leave or if that person just says I'm working extra, you'd be like, okay, but let me know when you're coming back. Your response is totally different. You don't have the same pull that you used to. And in fact, when someone's treating you badly now at this point and threatening to leave, you'll be like, okay, maybe this is not good for me because I now have a healthier standard of safety that I'm creating for myself. So nervous system regulation is the first part to healing these childhood wounds because the inner child from us growing up from when we did is conditioned with a vein feared, wounded, dysregulated nervous system. You soothe that, you love them, you create grounding from them. That's the first step of healing that allows you to get away from these push-pull relationships. Now you can move into the next step of deep subconscious healing that comes in. So I want to hear from you now. And I want you to send me a message on Instagram at the inner yats and let me know what you're currently working on healing or how these relationships are hurting from you. I would love to hear from you. I love having these conversations. My team and I, we grow from this. So if you feel like these push and pull relationships have been hurting you or coming, showing up in your life, send me a DM, tell me about it. Go to the inner yats or Instagram and just quickly send me a DM and we'll get back to you. Lots of love, like and subscribe for more videos coming your way.